Oh, there we go. It's done. It's done. Let's see. Uh, my brother, uh, Pastor, uh, last month, so a couple of, well, about three weeks ago, um, actually it was a, uh, anyway, Pastor uh, in New York City. It was uh, just uh, made his um, 70, what, third birthday. Um, so anyway, this is a, uh, in, in, in uh, cultures, certain cultures do certain things. In the Yoruba culture, um, they do they, they do a shrine or an um, altar uh, to 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 depart it. And so this is where I put my brother. Um, my brother's picture is right over there, down there. But this is a glass of, of water. He has a glass of water, a little bit more. That's a coffee, black coffee with a cigar. The cigar had to light and then you know, blow through the things. It, that's the water, but I'm happy. This is a shot glass of rum, white rum. Uh, two white candles on a plate. Uh, this is the food every day. Uh, when you have your own food, you also feed, um, you know, your riches. Uh, this is a, 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 a vase. Actually, it's a pretty good crystal vase uh, with white flowers. Uh, I like that. Uh, I explained to the people that was gathered here, uh, namely, uh, of course, my sister, uh, my niece, her, her man, and uh, my, my brother-in-law, my sister's husband. Um, uh, I was explaining to them that we use white because you have to understand that black absorbs and white uh, white, or uh, uh, how you say, um, reflects. Now, so you know, if, if the Orishas are coming down, or spirits are coming down, you don't, you don't want them to possess you. You want them to be around, but not possess you. So if, you, if you're doing certain spiritual things, they might come around, but if you are uh, something that you can absorb them, then they'll say, hey, I can, well, that's my interpretation. But the important thing is that this is going to be existing for nine, for nine nights, as they say, nine days. Uh, so uh, every Evening that we eat, we'll change the food, but then everything else will remain the same. We won't have to light anything, anything like that. Um, I was also explaining that uh, I first learned about nine nights when I was traveling. I was in uh, Belize, um, and I forget what town. Maybe it was it? No, it wasn't. It wasn't Georgetown. I think it was not even same bite. I forget where it was. It, anyway, it's a, 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 a Yoruba, Yoruba, a, 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 a Griffin uh, thing. But anyway, nine nights basically means. Uh, for nine nights, nine day, nine nights, people come by and they bring gifts, whatever, whatever. Uh, they they you know you can reflect on the person's thing. Remember, since you're in a vision, I mean, since you're in a village, then you know everybody knows each other. So that's when I first learned about nine nights. But then, of course, well, much later, uh, um, I had a relationship with my uh, relationship with uh, uh, man David hooked up because he writes uh, plays um, and I direct the plays. He writes. You know, Richard Tess, rep to a radio theater company. Uh, he's a Yoruba priest. He's been a Yoruba priest for a long He's been involved in Yoruba religion long before he became a priest, so he knows a lot about that. He's hooked up with all kinds of scholars, you know, like John Mason, people like that. And uh, and I I, I, I don't I don't hang I don't hang with any any anything, you know. The fact when David used to throw the cowrie cells and ask, you know, should I join the culture? You know, the answer was, no, nah, leave that boy alone. Da, da, da. So I was explaining to the people that, that, that Run right around that, that, that was assembled for our ceremony here. That I mean personally, I mean I, I don't I, I I can hang out with any religion. I can I can go to tabernacle. I can go to church. I can go you know I can go to mosque. I can go any place else. But I can't be a part of that. I can join any religion because well that's what you know anyway, that's my uh, that's my proclivities anyway. So just want to say it is done. So you'll we'll live here. Then when this is done, this picture will then. I'll go over in that section of this room because this is where my grandmother's uh, room is. It's a very peaceful room, by the way. So anyway, so that's it. Thank you for, uh, for, uh, for hanging. Listen to this. And thank you, David. <laughs>